me start in here. I've had a transition from Angel Mikael, who has been controlling everything for years, and I can explain to you how it's manifest, into Angel Gavriel and the left hand and the left side and Gvura and actually the name Elohim which all manifests itself in Gavriel and in Gvura and we're talking about you know we're talking about Sitra Akra one of the entries into the Sitra Akra is uh, Gvura because it's to the left see in fact that is a major entry because you know Bina is a little high, and Gavora goes right there. So I had a transition from Mikhail, from from Mikhail into Gavora, and then some things. Actually, I sent the rabbi something that came up, uh, like like the word Sheshet Yamim in to, in Torah, uh, Ten Commandments. If you do the Gematria. Like weird stuff there, okay? Uh, which we to talk about. The point is, I had this transition, and actually, I drop relationships, even texting relationships. Or you know, with one woman I don't even speak, but I've texted her for years. I dropped three relationships. It's not like me to drop, because I'm usually in Hesse. I'm usually in Mikhail. I'm usually on the right. And I shift it to the left. And so this shift to the left represents Gabriel. And so it's manifested in my life. So you're taking a video now? No, I just did a video of that. It's the first time I've expressed it. Oh. Just to me, right? Just to you. Oh, okay. I, I can shut it anytime you want. Oh, cool. Okay. No, I, I, that's why I worded it. I, I was a little lengthy. I didn't give you a chance to speak. Because that, that two minutes there is the first time I've expressed what happened to me in the past. So, is it strange if one goes through a, a death, so to speak, like I did the past couple of weeks? If I've had a monumental consciousness shift, you see, from from Hesed and and you know like everything's beautiful to uh, Elohim, from from Yudke Vavke to Elohim. I got plenty of gematria. I have a real beauty I just did now. That um, Elohim plus Gavriel comes out to be 332, which are the first letters of the Shema. So for me, if I do a meditation on when I say the Shema of Elohim Raphael, I'm manifesting that kind of energy. And it, it actually, even in my dealings with some people in the building that I had and everything, I've changed from what you would call submissive into dominant, from right hand to left hand. And you know my tennis is to try to get the left hand in society, which is blocked, which represents Gavura and the left side. See? So all this, maybe this will be open. I'm, this is open for me. I've been trying to do this, and I don't care if it's for something else or for tennis or whatever. It's for me. We've been kept away from the uh, the Elohim name. In fact, I just asked the rabbi. You you know that the, the that we as Jews are into the Yudke Bavke name. You know, but Elohim, I don't know who I Elohim <laughs> on Yom Kippur. And, and so there's a balance, and also, I mean, even like, you, you know, I came up with this weird thing about Sheshet Yamim. You know, let's, let's face it, I'm not, a, I'm not a Shabbos observer. And I come up with this thing for Sheshet Yamim, 
And Sheshet Yamim are the six days of Elohim. The Torah is on Elohim. Bereshit doesn't come in with Yudke Vavke. So this is my level now. Does that mean it won't change? Oh, change. My level now is done. So thanks for listening, of course. That's the first time ever. In fact, let me shut it off so you can talk.